this is this is a, a mural that's part of a whole back wall we're doing on uh, Bucci's Market. Uh, the Bucci's owns the whole block, so there's several buildings along here, and they got tagged and they're starting to getting tagged again in the spring. They always get tagged, and just it got worse and worse every summer. So we've been working with the city to try to develop a design, and um, we've got a bunch of artists together, and, and this is this is one of the walls. The script there is just a bowl for Ottawa. It's, no, it's not a secret tag or anything. That's all it stands for. And we've got uh, three different artists involved. One doing uh, this wall, and he's doing the back of the restaurant. And then uh, two of them are doing the back of the market with some fruits and vegetables and farming scenes. And then uh, there's a third group doing over the back of uh, Woody's and uh, Maxwell's, where they're doing a an old, there used to be a, an old public school here, Elgin Street Public School, so they're doing a, a black and white view of the school and uh, a big script that says Elgin Street. So the owner's been very keen on it and uh, it's been a learning experience, I think, for city staff over the summer to decide what's allowable on a mural and what's not allowable. But we, I think uh, everybody has, has sort of come to grips with what we can do and can't do. And forward to doing more of these throughout the city and finish up the year and we're ready for next spring too. Mike Young, uh, what's the uh, organization you're working with up here, Mike? Well, there's uh, there's two uh, there's two groups. The main group I'm with is uh, Keep Six. and It's an artist collective and then there's another artist collective called uh, Fresh Customs. And it's just a collective of artists that uh, got together to do murals and to sell their uh, you know their acrylic paints. And some of them are photographers and some of them are web designers. So and and this they're actually getting money. They're you know they're getting paid for this. So a lot of these a lot of these guys and gals they pay for nothing. You know they just paint for nothing. But so the opportunity to actually paint in the daytime and develop their skills and get money for it it's like good. So this, this is a career. I'm just looking over to my left and I see an RCMP officer, an Ottawa police officer, and you're talking to a Toronto police officer. What's with all these cops involved with these programs? Well, it's important, I think, to get everybody uh, to get everybody involved in the community. And uh, if we can find a community police that are open to the concept of trying different, uh, different ideas, I think once they try it and talk to some of the youth and the youth talk to them, they realize, you know, the youth realize that not all, all the cops are bad, and the cops realize not all youth are bad, so, and, and the business people get a nice back alley. Keep up your uh, community building through graffiti, uh, Mike.